Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Every non-zero real number has exactly one reciprocal. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following fact, which comes from the field properties of the real numbers. And it's the fact that every non-zero real number has at least one reciprocal. More specifically, we have that for every non-zero real number x, there exists a real number y such that x times y is equal to 1. Right, and we call this number y a reciprocal of x. But really, what this theorem is asking us to do is it's asking us to prove that y is the only reciprocal of x. And that's the goal in this video. Now, let's begin the proof. And we're trying to prove a statement about every non-zero real number. So give me an arbitrary non-zero real number. I'll call it x. The whole goal now is to deduce that x has exactly one reciprocal. Now, we know from this fact that x has at least one reciprocal, right? We know for a fact that there is some real number y such that x times y is equal to 1. But we want to show that y is the only reciprocal of x. In other words, we want to show that y is the only real number that satisfies this condition. How do we do that? Well, what we can do is we can prove that every real number that satisfies this condition is equal to y. In other words, we can prove for every real number t, if x times t is equal to 1, then t must be equal to y. So this is what we can prove to show that y is the only reciprocal of x. And we're trying to prove a statement about every real number. So give me an arbitrary real number. I'll call it t. And assume t satisfies this condition. Our goal is to deduce that t is equal to y. Now, since both x times y and x times t are equal to 1, they must be equal to each other. So we have that x times t is equal to x times y. But notice, x is a non-zero real number. So the way we can think about this is we can think of it as though we were to divide x on both sides of the equation, and we would obtain that t is equal to y. But really, to say that x times t equals x times y implies t equals y is what's referred to as the cancellation law of multiplication. So that's going to be our justification for this step. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove in order to show that y is unique. So we have shown that y is the only reciprocal of x. And that's it. This completes the proof. And so, yeah, that's pretty much the idea of how you could prove this theorem. Now, because we have shown that y is the only reciprocal of x, we're instead going to call y by a different notation. We're going to refer to the reciprocal of x by 1 over x. Right? This will be our symbolic notation for denoting the reciprocal of a non-zero real number. Right? And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.